Hi, this is the DIY Affiliate. Today we're going to be adding the Gutenberg Blocks Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. So, if you watch this for the entire tutorial, you will find out all of the, the different functions and the different blocks that you can use. So, let's get started. First place you go is to your left hand corner to your plugins. You click on the plugins and it will go install plugins, add new. You want to add new, so you click on the add new. This will then come up here. So then you type in here in the keyword Gutenberg blocks. You will then see your Gutenberg block ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg and then you would click the install now. After it is installed you would then activate it. Now you can either go to a, a new page or you could do a new post. I'm just going to do a new post so I'm going to go click add new. So I'm adding a new post now. Now, one thing you will notice is that Gutenberg is different than the actual classic WordPress editor. Okay, but this is the new editor that will be used starting in WordPress 5.0. So everything is now changing over to Gutenberg. So let's get started. You click on this plus sign right here and you go to the bottom till you find the ultimate add-ons block click on this arrow and let's do the first block the first block will be the advanced heading so I'm going to click on that now it says here add title which is normal because this um, will you will see this on all of your posts is the first block which is the add title okay um, now it says write a description Now you can choose to stick to the front page. Uh, you can also choose which category. So I'm going to look for my Gutenberg that I'm doing. There we go. Just going to click that. And also, if you wanted to add a new category, you could click this one to put your new category in and then your tags. What I did was I opened up a um, Windows accessories and I got my I got my tags and I copied them in here so that I'd be able to use them. So usually if you are working uh, with WordPress it's a good idea to open up your notebook through your Windows accessories so that you could put your um, information in. I'm going back into the document. I want to add my, my tags. Okay. That just took me into there. But You could also add a featured image for your your post. And I'm just going to choose one from here, from my media library without uploading.
Our library seems to be taking some time here. I just set my media library for February 2019. Okay, well, while I'm waiting for that to actually come up, oops, there we go, I'll go back into that and see. There we go, so I'm just going to take one of my images. I think I'm going to just take that one, select it. This will then be my featured image and the featured image usually shows up on the top. Okay, so this is the document. Now, now we're in the heading. You'll see these arrows here. This means you can move this down this means this is the toolbox here. So now the toolbox will come up here. Now I've got this enlarged, so it's actually a lot bigger than what you would see it. So you can click on these three dots here, and this will tell you what you can do. You can duplicate, you can insert something before, you can insert something after. You can edit as HTML. You can also add your description or um, whatever that you want to add to a reusable block. So you could make one block that you could just use um, over and over again. Okay, so now getting back into my description in here. You can change the font. You can make it bigger or smaller and I'm just going to write a little description in here just to show you As you can see, my I am typing faster than what my computer is picking it up. Okay, so what you can do is you can now change the size of your font. See how I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. And you could also look at what it will look like um, in a tablet or for a mobile. So I'm doing this for the computer. So I'm putting it there. You can also change the color of the text. Here is also a uh, separator that you can use. For instance, let's see, this style is solid. Let's go double. and you can choose the thickness of the separator. Here's the separator right here. I've got it double. Now I'm going to have it dashed or dotted. And this is the width. You can make it bigger, longer, or shorter, depending on what you like. 
and you can also change the color as well. So say we want to make it into a red. Whoops, I, went, I went in the wrong place. Make that into a red. Then you see that the separator that I put the dots in there has now changed color. Okay. The next block that I am showing you is going to be, again, you go into, you have to go right into your plugin, which is right here, down here at the bottom, the third one up, I believe. Well, actually, I have Yoast, so, okay. So let's say you wanted to do a post grid. So I'm just going to click on that. So now this is going to bring me up all my posts and I am going to decide on what kind of uh, grid I'm going to use. Like for instance, if there, there's an image, the image size, the image position, number of items I have six say I wanted no say I wanted eight I could have eight and say I just wanted two columns so then this is what it was it would look like but the only thing is, is what you see here on the screen is not what you'll actually see when it's online. And I will show you. If I just go to the preview, I'm just going to click in that so that I, you can see the difference. So this is what it will actually look like on my website and this is using the unique blog. So this is what it w will look like on my website. And as you can see, this is way too big. So getting back into here, I want to of course change this. And this is the looks like I'm using a heading tag too. I'm gonna try a heading tag. Okay, so the font size I need this to be smaller. Okay, this is actually the heading, uh, the subheading. This is the subheading right here. This is actually the heading. So we want to take the subheading down. There we go. Just a little bit. It's probably like that. And then look on the preview again. Actually, I'm just going to go into the, the website and refresh the page so that you can see. So when you're actually um, doing your your post, that's a good idea to see what it's going to look like on the actual website. 
Okay, that's still too big. Or it hasn't changed. Let's set that at Five's too big. Twelve. Let's see what it looks like for twelve. I think that that should be better. Oops. And while that's doing that, we're going to go back into here. And the other thing is the spacing. So you could have the heading bottom spacing. You can change that. So you can have more or less between the separator bottom and the bottom spacing you could make more space. And also, you can also go into I want to make sure I mean, you have to make sure you're in the right block. Okay, this is one block. This is another block. You'll see these buttons right here. That's a toolbar. There's a toolbar there. Now, there is a way to move these around, but it's not working for me right now. Okay, so let's go back here and now see if that's in. Okay. So there's the heading in there and it could be a little bit bigger but that's okay okay so there is the um, second block That was the post grid. Now this is called post masonry. And the difference is is that it does it in the uh, what they call a masonry block. And as you can see this is different than this one here. You can then choose the order you want the newest to the oldest, the oldest to the newest, and you can change that. You can also change the category, and I'm just going to look for my uh, Gutenberg. This will be down here, right there. So say I just want this category, so it's only going to post that one item right there instead of more. This is my post right here. Let's say I change the category and I wanted it to be um, affiliate marketers. So that is now going to give me a, a couple more posts. But you can see the power of Gutenberg here and how easy it is to be able to use the blocks.
just waiting for that to come in. You can also put an image it says show featured image so this is the, um, an, an image that you choose which is your your featured image and the size of the image whether you want thumbnail full medium medium large or large and I'm just going to look at the uh, medium for now just to see. The image position, whether you want to have it at the top or in the background. your read more link and as you click in here you will see the different options show the read more link open links in a new tab so I usually do choose that one and also you can change your font size this is having a problem coming in, so I need to find out what's going on with this. Just going to refresh this page. So getting back into the where we need to go for the plugin, which is right here, the ultimate add-on plugin. And the post masoner masonry. And I've got it newest to the oldest, but you can change that and you can also choose your category and your image you can decide whether you want it large and where you want it whether you want it at the top or in the background just put in the background there the back background overlay cover a color, let's see, is uh, like a light blue. And then your content. Show the author, show the date, show comments. You don't need to worry about comments. or And or show ex excerpt which is this right here and this you can change this you can show bigger or more or less
and then the uh, typography. Again, this is your uh, title tag, which is your um, your title tag three, which is a, a different size, and you can also make it bigger or smaller. There, I've just made it very big. And I'm also now going to make it smaller, which of course is too big. So I'm making it smaller. And then the excerpt, which is, you can also make that bigger or smaller. Your colors, your title color, so let's say we wanted to do a title color of red So then this is the title and it will then come up red. The meta tag color, say we wanted to do that blue, so these would come up blue right there. And your excerpt color, so say we wanted to do that orange. I'm actually not seeing that right now. Then you have your spacing, and here is where you can change things. See where it has column gap? You can change that. Oops. You can make it more of a gap between your columns, or less. Oops. Sorry, less of a gap between your columns. And you can also use the content padding. So this will now bring it down so it looks like it's bigger, but it's actually just longer. And also, this is for your mobile phone. You can also see what it's going to look like on your mobile phone as well. Then you have the title bottom spacing. See how that's now changed? And then you have the meta bottom spacing. So now getting back into my title. Say I wanted it to be pink. you can change the color. You could change the color of everything here. Now let's have a look. Let's update this. And then let's see what it actually looks like on online. So I'm just going to save that.
Okay, so this is where I made it bigger. This is where I changed the color. Okay. Now we're going to go to the next block. Just, you can also use this where you can add a block and then that will still pull up. And I always, well, I went in the wrong way. I always go into the actual ultimate add-on blocks. And say you want a post carousel. So I'm just going to click on that. It's now going to take all of my posts and put it in the form of a carousel. So you could just click here and you will see. You can also order it from the oldest to the newest, A to Z, or Z to A. You can determine on the number of columns that you want to have. So I have six here. I don't want that many. Newest oldest category all. number of items. See how when I go like this, it now adds the columns. Of course I don't have that that I don't have that many columns but and of course image show featured image and the size the image position where you want it. Now you're going to find the featured image in your document. So this is the featured image right here that I have. And you can replace that image. Getting back into my carousel. When you click in the into the block, it comes on, up on the right hand side. Number of columns, and there's my image. The content. If you click in here, then you could show the author, show a date, show comment, or show excerpt. Okay. And there's the excerpt length again. And then your read more link. You can open the links in a new tab and I usually do like that. And your button text would be read more. You can also make this bigger or smaller. Let's see. I've just made it too big, but can make this bigger or smaller, whatever you, size that you're looking at. You can also change your button border. Say I want um, a double. And the width is going to be Bigger. Can also have a rounded corner.
on your button. And then you can also get into your button padding, which it shows you right there, whether your button is going to be coming out more or being more in the background. So just going to put that there. Okay. Um, and also you can have button colors. So say I wanted red. So then it would turn this red here on my button, my background color, say I wanted it in blue. So then I'd have blue for my background. And then the border color you can also change. Say I wanted that, let's just say green. Just some bright colors. So those are the things that you can change in there. And then getting down to the next one, there should be another add block that shows up. Like I say, I've enlarged mine, so let's just click on that. And then go down to your actual ultimate add-ons block. Um, now we're going to go with the multi-buttons. Now here you can choose the number of buttons that you want. Like for instance, I've got two, but you can now change them to three or four and all your settings and we're just going to go through the first button you would then put a link in where you want your um, button to open to and whether you want it in the same window or if you want it in a new window the font size that you want you see how you can make it bigger and smaller and also what it's for that you could see this would be tablet, and this would be cell phone. Let's say we just made that font. Now we are working with the button number one. One thing you do have to remember is when you're working with the buttons, you have to see what button you're working with. So this one is button number one. and it will actually show you right here if you have this closed you see button number one a button number two button number three button number four and depending on the different number of buttons that you have now i have done another post where i've got uh, a couple of different buttons that are already done that I was going to show you. I'm just pulling up that post right now.
just waiting for this to come in. So while this is coming in, we're going to go back. Sometimes when you have more than one editor opened at the same time, your computer goes very slow. So while that's coming in, and I'll show you the different uh, settings, just going through the first one, you have your link whether you want it to open in a new a window or not you then have your border your thickness and you can also change that as well and you can also change the type of border say you wanted a dotted one that would then give, oh, sorry, it's a solid, I want it dotted. There you go. And also you can change the color of the border and also you can change the color of the text. So say I made that color, rounded corners. See how it rounds the corners here and it's no longer square. Okay. You could also have a background color. That's a pretty ugly looking button. So I don't like the dotted solid. It's actually better and like I said, you could change the text. You could also change the uh, padding. See how you can make it longer. And you can also make it wider. And you can continue doing this with all these buttons here. And you can have as many buttons as you want. The next one is getting back into the plugin. Social share. Now, social share I've done actually on in another post, so it makes it easier for you to see. Social share. This is social share right here. Just click into there. You'll see it comes up social share. And this is where you put your settings in. Like for instance, if you want what is the type with the is it an image or an icon and then the icon color and also the icon background so Click on this one. This is Tumblr. This is actually one, two, three, four, five, number six. So then we go down to this button down here and then you can see I've got tumblr the icon and also there's a place to be able to put your link in where you want the URL to go to
there's many different options that you can use like for instance the font the background color the size Okay, this is part one of a two-part tutorial. So I hope this has been helpful to you just to talk about these first blocks. The next tutorial will go into the, um, the other blocks. So if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe please and um, remember sharing knowledge is free and this is the DIY affiliate saying have yourself a wonderful night.